I literally had to shower my hair, like wash my hair because <laughs> I smell like bacon still. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Mother's Day morning. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Brex Doodle's feeling much better today, so I've got him down here with me this morning. We're talking a little bit more quietly because we're letting mom sleep in this morning, something that she very rarely gets to do. To start off the day today, we kind of have a tradition where every year I make mom breakfast, and it's usually a very silly tradition that we have, but I make her toaster strudels, literally toaster strudels, and the ongoing joke is that I make them and I put them in the toaster and I don't toast them long enough, and so they're always frozen in the center and then hot and crispy on the outside. I decided this year, let's step it up a little. We'll continue with the toaster strudel tradition. Let's add a few things to it. So this year, guys, we're going with some thick cut applewood smoked bacon. We've got cheddar cheese eggs. We're gonna do English muffins. We've got our traditional toaster strudels. We're gonna do hash browns with some orange juice and some chocolate milk. And of course, you gotta wake up to the smell of fresh flowers. Oh, you guys, another reason we're whispering is because we don't have doors on any of the rooms upstairs, including mom's room because of the floor and all the floors being torn out. We're trying to let her sleep in, but that's gonna be kind of hard once we get all the kids down here cooking up breakfast and there's no doors to block any sound. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in the kitchen because we also have a very epic and huge dinner plan for mom tonight. So stick with us today, hang with us. We're gonna be cooking a lot, but it's mostly gonna be me, so it should be funny and come enjoy this Mother's Day with us. Hope you're having a great one already. Brexy are not quite as good at this as mom is, but Brexon has been in the kitchen enough with mom to help me know where things are and which ones to use for what. So what do we got out here today, Brexy? What are we gonna use these for? Uh, for bacon. This one is for eggs. Okay. Three. So this one we're gonna use for our eggs. This one we're gonna use for our hash browns. This is gonna be cooking over here for our bacon. This is gonna be for our English muffins and our toaster strudels, right? Yeah. So I think we're ready to go. Should we get started? Yeah. Let's cook it up. smell of bacon and hash browns in the morning will get you up with a smile. <laughs> it's no secret, I'm absolutely terrible in the kitchen. So I know there's like a process and a rhythm to this and if you get one thing started first and that will be done just in time to finish the last thing, I don't know any of that. So we've got bacon going because I know we're gonna make a lot of that and I just feel like whenever we do breakfast, there's always bacon still being made while we're eating so I'm starting early on that. I'm doing hash browns because they're completely frozen and there's a huge chunk of them so I feel like that's gonna take a little bit longer to thaw out. Then I'll do eggs because those go quickly and the toast and the toaster strudels and I think that's gonna work out. Yeah. As we just got confirmation that mom's awake, we can talk a little bit louder now. I've got all the kids in here with me, so it's getting really loud. We're trying to hurry through this. I had no idea hash browns took as long as they take to cook, guys. They've been cooking, no joke, I feel like an hour, and they're still like wet and huge, so I'm gonna try and figure that out. We gotta get going on the cheesy eggs, we gotta get the rest of the bacon going, we cook the bacon for the kids first, and then the thick, thick stuff for mom is coming up next. We've got toaster strudels, we've got English muffins, we've got chocolate milk, we've got oranges, we got so much stuff this morning. We've gotta get it going for mom, and we gotta get it up to her before breakfast time is over. How's the bacon? That was so good. It's crunchy, I like it. I did crunchy because I think that's the way we like it, right? <laughs> Rexy, how do you like it? Yeah. Pretty good? Okay, so guys, I made this bacon for the kids first, and then we've got mom's thick applewood smoked bacon going on the griddle right now. Hash browns are starting to brown up a little bit, so we're gonna get going on the eggs, English muffins, toaster strudels, and our special delivery. Who's delivering shirtless, baby? <laughs> Trying to have a positive attitude about this. The hash browns are about as done as they can be. Eggs are on their way and bacon's almost done. We're gonna get going on the other stuff. But I am terrible at this, you guys. I just feel so bad that Mindy can't have a delicious, well-cooked breakfast because I'm so bad at this. But I think it's gonna be the thought that counts and I hope that she still appreciates and loves it. We successfully completed what looks like an amazing Mother's Day breakfast in bed. We got our hash browns, cheesy eggs, thick bacon, English muffins, toaster strudels, and we're gonna ask her what she would like to have with this chocolate milk or orange juice. Her choices await her. Rag Guy's gonna be the delivery guy. We're gonna all go up and say happy Mother's Day. And guys, when we come back, we've got a little bit of a mess to clean up. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> 
<laughs> Happy oh, Mother's Day, Mom. Who you taught want? Dad how to cook for the night? <laughs> the night. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is not oh, the best setup for eating <laughs> because Real quick update on this Mother's Day, if you're just watching this video on your new door channel, our house flooded. That's why it looks like this, it's a disaster. Guys, this is always what it's like. <laughs> so there's no headboard, so you may not want to eat here because you can't really sit up, but we wanted to do the traditional breakfast in bed for you. And I think the boys have something for you. Do you guys want to go get her your stuff? Yes. Oh, there's a special ingredient that you have to find. Yeah, Ooh. but you have to find the special ingredient. Isn't that just cool. what you want to hear? This is super <laughs> <nervous>. <laughs> I had artwork all brought to me. Oh, you guys brought in artwork already? So wow. That's for me, and then he was also a little Oh, I so, love all of this. That's me. I love this. And then that's just an extra thing I did. Oh, that's awesome. And and this. Open that. Oh man, this headboard leaning against the ceiling. Here, should we put that on the floor or something for a minute? With cleaning the dishes. This coupon entitles mom to one big hug. Crashing out on that more than one time today. This coupon entitles mom to one big kiss. Oh. Well, <laughs> this coupon entitles mom to lay with me for a week. Whoa, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Can I borrow that one? <laughs> this coupon entitles mom to not oh, do the laundry. And I'll do it. Whoa. Ruby. <gasps> Look at this. Guys, if we haven't told necklace. you, Cruz a savage beast. He got a cut right in his dirt bike. <laughs> a kiss. Oh, Mother's Day kiss. I'll climb up with mommy. Oh, and it looks so pretty today. Hey, it's Mother's Day. Could be Mimi and necklace. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, it might be a little uncomfortable because of the tree. Oh my goodness. Ooh, a Mother's Day necklace. Oh, and it says your name on the back and the year. And look, it has a little butterfly. I love it. I would say breakfast in bed was a huge success. What do you guys think? Yes! I think she honestly loved it, you guys. So we've come back down now. The kids are eating the same breakfast, so they're eating some of the breakfast that we made this morning. Hazy's over there with her amazing morning bed head. Hi, Hazy. I've got some breakfast cooking here for me, and then the major cleanup process begins, guys. Instead of the smell of burnt bacon and hash browns. I love it. <laughs> but it's a combo. I love it. These are pretty. To accompany you in bed while you're not having nothing all day. Alright, guys, on this very special Mother's Day, we're gonna keep cleaning up the kitchen, but we're gonna have our goal be to let mom rest as much as possible. Whether that's sitting playing on her phone, staring at a wall, reading a book, watching a Netflix show, taking a I nap. I don't very often stare at the wall, just so you know. <laughs> you can watch our grass grow, it's getting greener. Up it is really green. <laughs> Today is all about spoiling mom with rest and relaxation, something she very rarely gets. And it's not easy to get in a house that's torn apart, but as you guys saw, we got some fresh carpet, we got some caramel M&Ms. Things are looking up, you guys. Happy Mother's Day to this lady. We're gonna sign off for a minute and we'll see you back here again for dinner. And happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. I know, it's a lot of work. So <laughs> happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. We've already been flooded with like Facebook messages, private Instagram messages. Mom might not even know. I think she woke up and looked at a few of them of people wishing her happy Mother's Day. Yes. And then on an international level because they were coming in in the wee hours of the morning <laughs> in the middle of the night. So you guys are the greatest. I love it. She's feeling the love for sure. Later that same evening. Well, good evening guys. I'm here with Hi. my special guest, the mother of Mother's Ooh. Day. <laughs> guys, that's been kind of a tale of like two halves of the day. It started off amazing. It was perfect Super to start fun with. breakfast. Kids were super helpful. They helped cook. They helped do the dishes. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty great. I mean, it was a nice relaxing day and I was honestly surprised that they didn't wake up super early. We don't have a door <coughs> to our bedroom. They actually like stayed in their bedrooms Stay and they slept quiet. in because they were out late. It was actually a perfect morning. No. I woke up on my own. It was great. It was great and you actually were woken up to some fresh smelling amazing. bacon. Amazing. <laughs> some breakfast you in bed. Guys, 
days, I literally had to shower my hair, like wash my hair because <laughs> I smell like bacon still. <laughs> Who can get enough smell of bacon? That's not yeah, that's not a bad thing. thing. <laughs> but anyway, Brandon is like, it's really hard to video. I don't cooking. know how she does cooking segments, you guys. It was incredible. Like to get moving everything the camera done at around the same time. and stuff's burning an egg plate over here while I'm trying to move over and flip bacon, but then move the camera so I can get the hash browns. I'm just like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I think Mother's Day is a little bit of an eye opener. Like an eye opener, someone. yeah. So we went to church. Church was great. I had a good time at church. And then when we got home, I feel like honestly, because last night was such a late night. And by the way, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out it the vlog amazing. of my dad's scavenger hunt. Actually, I just uploaded now a shorter, more shareable version of just him seeing his new car and freaking out about that. He got so emotional. Was it was so genuine. It made me cry. But that was a late night. We got home kind of late. And I think because of that, the kids are maybe a little off their game today, a little more on the selfish side than usual, which is hard on a mother's day because you're trying to make it about mom. The kids of this age don't really understand that. And so the no. second half of the day just didn't feel, I didn't feel as mother's day -ish. They were just like on their tired game. They're on their tired game. So it was very difficult to put together like a fun, loving, like genuinely happy mother's day dinner where we cook up a nice meal and we sit yeah. and we talk about our day. And it was just more stressful than that. And so we felt like, let's move that to tomorrow night. <laughs> we'll try again tomorrow. We'll scrap the dinner for tonight. We'll just get the kids into bed, let them get the sleep that they need. And we'll try again for that epic yeah. dinner tomorrow. And so you, you know guys, what? it still it could be a dinner being... tomorrow. Actually, once I accepted it for what it was, it was great. The night was awesome with Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> once we got the kids into bed. Yeah, once the kids get to bed, you know, I think that they're just too tired. So tomorrow night we have amazing steaks, yummy Caesar salad, red potatoes, and you guys, he picked out a really good dessert. He went to a lot of effort, and in case you didn't know, <laughs> the garage opened at 2.15 this morning, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, is that? No, that's the garage. I saw the lights, and I was like, that's Brandon. In order for him to give me the perfect morning, he edited the vlog, got it all completely done last night and then went to the grocery store and picked out everything for me. It was so sweet of him and he went to so much effort. It feels like procrastinating, which it kind of was, but I really wanted to make sure she was able to sleep in in the morning so I had no video to work on in the morning. So I stayed up super late getting that done and then ran off and got all the stuff we needed for a breakfast and a dinner. And at least we had the breakfast and the dinner's coming tomorrow, so don't miss it. And I'm gonna eat dessert while the kids are in bed. <laughs> it's good dessert. <laughs> also, a really quick follow up. We want to tell you guys the overwhelming winning choice was the number one vinyl. That's mom's choice. There's a lot of comments for number two so I was feeling confident about was that. that yours? Yeah, but then when I checked the poll, like number one was like 80%, <laughs> and then two and three like each shared 10%. You guys all probably just did that to be nice to me because you know that's what I wanted. But it's a Mother's Day treat. Thank I you. I loved it. I love it. I think that's what we're gonna go with. I think so. it's honestly what we're gonna go with. So look forward to that. We're gonna be getting new carpet, new floors, new ceilings, some new walls. Guys, stay tuned because tomorrow Brandon's gonna get some work done on the truck. E, we're doing it. We held off. I think that was the responsible adult decision. We kind of know more what we're looking at having to spend. A and now. insurance is really gonna make this not too hard on us, and so. We're gonna go ahead and go for it. We're gonna be putting the leveling kit in the truck. We're gonna do the bed liner in the back. And so we're gonna get that thing bingumed out. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I don't wanna say pimped out. That just sounds weird. We're gonna get bingumed out. Bingumed. We're gonna end this Mother's Day. Was it a fail? Was it a win? We don't know. Comment below. Guys, lots of new faces. We just yeah, passed 170,000 subscribers today. We are like, our family is growing. Didn't we just hit 100,000? Like, I was just wearing like 100,000 subscriber yeah, we got our merch shirt. Button. Like, I swear Ooh. that just happened. We are closing in on 200,000. What's going on with this family? We love this family. We love each and every one of you. And thank you for making us part yes, of your day. Thank you so much. Thanks for loving our family. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you. And we love all the comments, all the positive feedback and support. You guys really make our day. We're going to try and finish this Mother's Day on a high note, on a win. Say goodnight to you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.